guys, welcome back to the vlog. So it's day, what day is it? Four, five. Day four or five. No, we're not going home tomorrow, it's the next day, so it's day four. Yeah. Um. So this morning, Jessica? I decided to start off, the start, start off my vlog. Yeah, so um, we're going to go ice. Well, first we're going for breakfast, then we're going ice skating, and then we're going over to where there's a big like London Eye, but the Las Vegas version. And um, we're gonna go look at that and hopefully get on. So there will be lots of footage today, I suppose. Yeah. And we're going back to the shops just for one more look before we go home because tomorrow we're actually going on a surprise trip. Did you tell them about it? No. So we're going on a surprise trip tomorrow that you'll find it in tomorrow's vlog, so make sure you vlog, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. Um, yeah, so we're going for breakfast now and then we'll see you later. Okay guys, so I'm putting my hair in a bun because it's a mess right now and I'm washing it later on before we go for dinner. But basically, I want to show you guys what I got in Sephora. So I have a little bag here. I actually have... This was my original bag, but I just squeezed everything into a What's in here now? I have an Ugg spray and a Lush bath bomb. You know what? I'm going to show you the Lush bath bomb as well because why not? I got this the other day and I don't know which one it's called, but... Looks like this. Comment down below if you know what it's called. It looks like this. And it smells so nice. It's like kind of like a smell of strawberries and stuff. Oh wait, there's a receipt in here. Does it say what it's called? Pink Bath Bomb New. That's what it's called. But yeah, and the little bag's pink as well because at home the bags are just the uh, black and brown colour. Onto the Sephora haul. Here's the bags uh, filled with everything. So let's do a little random pick. I'm just gonna put my hand in and pull it. Something. Okay, okay, well this, it's kind of easy to stir off. Is this my new one or is this my new one? No? See, I have I have this one. This one's, wait, yeah, this one feels a lot heavier. This is my old one, but this is my Too Faced mascara. I have this one, I'll actually have a mini one somewhere in there as well. But this one's empty, so I got a new one just to like, stock up and um, basically and um, okay, let's do like a little random dip okay this one just keeps getting in the way so this is the tart tartlet toasted palette and it looks like that let me open up i used it today on my eyes it's kind of coming off but like it's the main gist of it so here's what it looks like and i'll just open it up Ooh. this is what it looks like i'm just gonna put my hand there because the camera's annoying but yeah they're the colors they are so pretty. Wait, focus on them. There we go. They're the colors and they're so pretty. Uh, my favorite colors are cashmere, warmth, um, cozy, fireside, latte, and sunrise. They're like my top six, seven, one of those. Anyway, they're my top seven in the palette and I love this so much. Me and my sister both actually picked this up, but she bought hers back and then I got one. So yeah, okay, let's move on. Next thing I got is, I actually got these today. These are the Sephora Collection eyelashes and they look like this. I might put them on tonight or not, but 
this is what they look like. They're not like too too false and they're not too um big and bold eyelashes. So I got kind of natural ones. And they're celebrity number 23. So they look like this. Do a little random dip. I like doing this. Okay. Oh yeah, so this is the Tarte Amazon Clay 12 hour highlighter. This is what it looks like from the outside. Sorry, the light is reflecting on it. Wait. I'm so bad at uh, unboxing things because I just rip everything. Well, there's that broken. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's just like a champagne colour. And it's the, it says exposed highlight in the back. And I'll just open it up. It's a piece of plastic on it. This is what it looks like. And I will give you a swatch because I do that with everything. There's a swatch. I love it so much. If you can hear any background noises, my sister's in the bathroom having a shower and there's a TV on. But yeah, that is the swatch for the Amazon, I mean, yeah, Amazon Clay Highlighter by Tarte. And I'll just pop this back in the box. Um, and then this is also what I got. What's this? Yeah, this is the, Park Avenue Princess or Park Avenue Princess, I'm not sure what it's called. But it's the Tarte Bronzer because I have a Hula Bronzer but I'm running out of it. And I decided to go for a new one. So it looks like this and the packaging is so cute. It's like a little leather, like a little leather wallet type of thing. Um, yeah, this is the colour here. It's exactly the, like it's the same colour as the Hula Bronzer. I used it today. I'm not very good at blending it though. <laughs> um, but yeah, I used it today. And yeah, it's really it goes on really good, and it's really smooth, and it's really blendable as well. So I really like that, and it has really cool packaging as well. So that is that. The next thing, yeah, guys, I kind of went all out. Okay, this I didn't even mean to pick this up. So instead of picking up the highlighter yesterday in the mall, I picked up this uh, set and powder by Tarte, and I went to uh, return it today, and I forgot it in the hotel room. And we went ice skating, so we couldn't come back. We're going to a secret place tomorrow, which is we'll find out uh, where uh, in tomorrow's vlog. So we're going for the whole day, and the next day we're going home. So I guess I just have to keep it. But it is a sand powder. I used a bit of today. It's it's pretty good. Uh, I just like to use other ones which are in here. So I'll show you. I prefer the Laura Mercier one, which I got. So this is what the little box looks like. If it would like to focus. And then inside, here we have the little pot. I got the mini one. Uh, and plus, this was like half the price. And the bigger ones of the, it's not the translucent. It has a bit of a color in it. It was sold out. So I have this one here where it has like the little bit of a color in it. So that's why I got I got the mini one. It was like in the little mini uh, section on the, on the way to the till. And then it comes with a little puff as well. So that is that, I have a few more things. So yeah, I have this, I put it back in the thing, I used it like twice, but I got the Beauty Blender. I have one, but I took a lump out of like the top of it and everything and it's all dirty. But it's already dirty already, but I got the Pink Marble Beauty Sponge and it is so good and I, it is small now, but it was like all big and puffy when I damp dampened it. The next thing I have is Rainforest of the Sea Tarte Concealer. And I have it in the shade light. And just open it up. See, I've been looking for the Tarte Concealer, but I can't find it in any Ulta's. So I got this, which is pretty similar. That's what the packaging looks like. It's so cute with the multicolored. And then if I open it up, it has like the same applicator as well. And I love how it just like, let's put it here. How it like glides on. I know I literally don't like a swatch of concealer. But I love how it goes on with the applicator. It's really good. Did anyone just hear my voice? My voice always goes on holidays. I'm not even messing. Okay, so we're down to two more things. So I have the Anastasia or Anastasia, whatever you like to call it. I like to call it Anastasia Brow Pomade. Um, this is in the shade Blonde. I'm going to open up and show you this compared to my old one. Because honestly, my old one is just, it is so bad. I use so much of it, I just don't even know how. But, um, okay, so this is my new one. As you can see there, I only use like a tiny bit of it. 
And then this is my old one. Oh yeah, and look at this. This, oh my God, this, look at the lid. So the lid is covered in bright pomade that I wipe off my brush. This one's clean, I'm gonna try and keep it clean. This is my old one. And this is my new one. So there's a big difference and this is why you can tell why I got a new one. Uh, but yeah, that's I got the new one there. And I kept the same brush because my brush is fine. I was like, oh, I got a new one, but they're like $20. That was my sister in there, by the way. Yeah, but they're like $20, but like mine's in perfect condition, so it's grand. Um, so that is, oh, I have one more thing to show you. So wait, this is the old one. Um, so then this, I got this. This is a pro contour, but I kind of use it to like sweep off bake, uh, baking powder under my eyes or like use it for contour, use it for both. But it's the Sephora Pro Contouring Brush and it looks like this and it is so soft. I nearly got it in the concealer. It is so soft and when you like press down it like, I don't know how to explain it. Cause like when you kind of have normal brushes, just sits there but this kind of like folds cause it's really soft. And yeah, it's really good shape uh, to like really do like everything. So yeah, that is the last thing I got. Uh, this isn't from Sephora, it's from Victoria's Secrets that I got today, but I'm gonna show it anyway. It's the flavor lip shine that I got today. And it's like a clear kind of gloss with a bit of shimmer. I'm gonna put a bit on because I'll show you what it looks like. So that's what basically what it looks like. It's just a bit of shine to add to your lips. Instead of just having nothing on them, and it just gives them. And I have like a flavor. I'm not sure. It kind of tastes like coconuts. A little bit. I'm not sure. But yeah, that is everything. No, it's not. <laughs> I forgot one thing. Uh, I got these set of brushes, and they're dirty because I used them. So there comes with five. Yeah, it comes with five. Uh, and this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna take out each of them. So we're gonna start with this one. These are like the contouring bronzer brush set, but it's using for everything. So we have this one here with the slight angle arch on it. And I like to use this for blending out bronzer or putting on bronzer. Then the next one here. Uh, and they're glittery as well and they're by Tarte. And this one is a arched one as well. And you can also use that for like putting on the bronzer. Then this one, I mean, like I... Not 100% sure what you can use these for, but you could even use this for powder if you wanted, or bronzer again, or blush, or even like a uh, highlight if you wanted. And then this one is, I'm not really sure what it's for, but I also use this for bronzer. I kind of just use them like whichever, and plus, plus they're really pretty. Um, yeah, I can use that one, but I kind of use it more towards highlight. And then this one uh, is. I don't really know what it's for. Maybe you could use it for bronzer, or I use it to blend out eyeshadow, that's what I've done today. Or you can even use it for like a precise highlight. Uh, so yeah, they are my little five piece brush set. And they just look really cute when they like all sit in your like the little brush holder. I can't get my words out. Great talk. Uh, but I'm just gonna put these back in. Back in. Here we go. Oh, I was missing one. So yeah, that is my five piece brush set and everything I got in Sephora. And yeah, my sister got a few things as well, but I don't know where her bag is. She basically got a concealer by Sephora. It's $14 and it's full coverage, which is really good. And she got eyelashes, I think, and a Huda Beauty mini eyeshadow palette. Well, it's a eyeshadow palette, but it's really small. And what else did she got? I think she got lipstick or something like that. But yeah, that is everything that I got in Sephora. And I know it's a lot, but I just love makeup so much. And yeah, I'm going to be doing tutorials on all of these products in uh, maybe today's vlog or tomorrow's vlog. So yeah, I will talk to you when we're doing something next.